I hate to say it, but I think of food constantly. I, I just, I just, oh, I'm, I'm hungry. I wonder what I'll have for lunch. I wonder, well, I really don't eat lunch, but I wonder what kind of popcorn I'll have for lunch or chips or what am I going to have for dinner? I kind of think about it all the time. Jesus does not think about food. Why do I say that? Because in the scriptures, we don't hear talk about really him eating or really him doing anything. Yeah, he goes to banquets. We don't hear what he had. You don't really hear that he was eating. You hear that he's basically talking or whatever. But then the Last Supper happens, and then his death and resurrection. And now all we hear about him doing is eating. It is the strangest thing. Honestly, the road to Emmaus. He sits down and has dinner, and that's when they recognize his disciples, who hadn't known him before, recognized that it was the Lord when he was eating, when he was breaking the bread. And then when he appeared to the disciples in the upper room, he's all of a sudden, guys, do you have anything to eat? I'm hungry. What, like, where is that coming from? And now here, Jesus is saying, let's have breakfast. Like, Jesus, he didn't do this before. Why did he do this? Because brothers and sisters, he was showing us how to be with him in the Eucharist. This is not, the Eucharist is not some sort of thing we do just to get together and while we're here, we might as well do it. Jesus specifically is telling us, when you are together, this is how you remember me. Do this in remembrance of me. And what are we doing? We go back to when he was talking to his disciples on the hill, talking to the thousands. And he was telling them that unless we eat his flesh and drink his blood, we do not have his life within us. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is very purposeful. He doesn't need food. He's God. He's risen. He doesn't need breakfast. He doesn't need something to eat all of a sudden. He's telling us that this is how we are with him. And you notice this is how the disciples recognize him. And so, brothers and sisters, as we receive our Lord today, let us remember that this, we do this in remembrance of him. We do it to be with him. We do it so that we can receive his life and be with him here and be with him one day in heaven our risen Lord and Savior. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Please stand.